Okay, so good morning. Today we're in Haddenham, Buckinghamshire. This is uh, a really pretty, small, individual close. It's called Mallard Croft. There are four properties in the cul-de-sac. As you can see here, it's very, very quiet. Great for this location. We've got some many schools on our doorsteps that are very popular. Uh, but most importantly, we've got the train station that gives you direct access right into London Marleybone. Uh, within 38 minutes, uh, being the fastest train. Um, so this is a four-stroke, five bedrooms attached family home with uh, loads of square footage accommodation. Um, but come inside and I'll show you around. Everything this in, in this property just gives you space. So really good size entrance hall, uh, tiled flooring, um, so with some really nice glazed doors coming through to which is quite an impressive reception hall uh, with a really glorious vaulted ceiling and gallery landing. Um, I love the open staircase with loads of space underneath. You've got access to many reception rooms off this entrance hall, so it's a very sociable family home. The kitchen, the current owners refitted, I think about 18 months ago, but as you can see, it's a lovely kitchen. Um, some really nice tops, fitted cupboards, you've got some nice NEF units, um, a really great NEF uh, gas hob. Um, it's a beautiful kitchen, a nice sort of breakfast area as well, so it's a very sociable kitchen. And so it's only fitted about 18 months ago, but it's nice attention to detail with the under lighting, um, which is fantastic. And you obviously got a front aspect uh, window there as well. Equally, you've got a nice separate utility room. It's always nice to keep the utilities out of the kitchen. Again, great space. Got a lot of high ceilings here. They've got a fitted uh, wine cooler, which is obviously quite important. Washer, dryer, nice sink. Um, what's quite nice here is that you have your own sort of private patio, you know, Purposely made for your drying of your clothes, very private, access to the front and round to the garden as well. So you have access around the whole property. So it's quite useful. So following on from the impressive kitchen breakfast room, we'll go through to the study. Which you can see is a great size. Again, you've got loads of fitted furniture, perfect space for a desk, fantastic views over the patch and rear garden and the orchard that is beyond the walled garden. So nice and private. Quite comfortable to get two people in here as we are working from home uh, a lot more today. Flowing through to a dining room, which again offers Great space, nice vaulted ceiling. You've got your inset, uh, real flame effect gas fire. You've got the land, gallery landing again, which is fantastic. Then you have some steps leading up to the main sort of sitting room where one might decide to retire in the evenings. You've got some nice patio doors giving great views over the private garden. Again, this is sort of one of four different areas that we have where the gardens are set in different locations. Um, but again, it's, you are lovely and private. You're overlooking um, an orchard here. Um, it's a great space. If the sun was shining, you'd see that it is quite a nice sun trap as well. So, one further room downstairs. Um, this property is very flexible. So we have four bedrooms upstairs on the first floor, and we have one bedroom downstairs on the ground floor, or as the current owners are, are using it, it's like a cinema room. On the way, you have uh, another cloakroom downstairs. And then you have this impressive bedroom stroke cinema room with a really good size ensuite. So again, great if you've got an elderly teenager, got an au pair, 
uh, or generally just got a large family, you need additional bedrooms or reception area. And again, this flows onto, again, patio doors onto a, a good sized private um, paved garden, as you can see, it's good size. So that completes the ground floor accommodation. Um, I'll take you upstairs and I'll show you around the first floor. Okay, so first floor. First we need to start in this impressive landing, uh, which obviously you've got some great views over the dining room, great views over the entrance hall, great, great sort of size, very sociable if you've got children, little library area, um, could have some seating here. So it's a good usable space. That's what I'm trying to get across. So it then flows into all the bedrooms. So this is currently being used as the master bedroom, which is a good double bedroom, but the benefit it has is you have a rather large walk-in dressing room come on suite bathroom. Due to all the family members, they decided to use this as the master bedroom and just never moved out of it. Um, but you can probably see why with the walking dressing room and uh, on suite. So, next bedroom, again, is in here. It's a great size, love the uh, solid oak flooring. Loads of built in bedroom furniture. Uh, nice big sort of deluxe window giving quite a nice view. And again, you benefit from a really nice on street bathroom. So that's two bedrooms on the first floor. So I'm just gonna show you the other two and family bathroom. Again, just walking through the nice landing. Family bathroom, again, great size. Nice jacuzzi bath. And then we have uh, probably the smallest bedroom, but again, a really good double bedroom. It's nicely light in here, we've got a big Dulux window. Coming through to another bedroom. Which again, dual aspect, so nice and light and airy. We've got, again, some built-in wardrobes. So four very good sized bedrooms two with en suite and a family bathroom on the first floor. So that completes the internal accommodation. What I'm going to do now is um, take you around um, the whole of the property to show you all the different aspects of gardens that they have. Um, so let's just go outside. Okay, so we're outside. I wanted to show you first because there are many different little pockets of gardens in this property. So this is obviously to the left hand side of the front of the property. This Late lawn garden is owned by Miles Croft. You've got a door giving access into the side of the garages, gate giving access to the main rear garden. Obviously, again, we have the double garages with loads of parking. We've got a smaller front garden. As you walk around, we'll go through small gates. Going back through to what I showed you earlier, this is off the utility room. That's like your own designated sort of washing drying area, bean storage, really bike storage, whatever you wanted to use this for. So we're walking through around the side of what is the bedroom downstairs stroke cinema room to this spacious, sociable sort of patio area. Which you could turf if you wanted to have this as a late long garden as well. But you, what is nice, you're sort of surrounded by walled gardens. It's nice and secure. Loads of additional storage here, as you can see. Uh, outside um, power. And we're coming round to what is traditionally the main rear garden. And again, you have walled garden, fenced area. You're backing onto an orchard. Nice little water feature. And this gate here will be giving you access through to where we started. 
So there are a number of different sort of main garden areas. So this is Mallard Croft. We're in Haddon and Buckinghamshire. Um, very popular location due to the commuter belt to London. My name is Darren Hunt. It's Connors and County in Tame. 01844 399 292. I'll wait to hear from you.